The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Today we're doing a phone in interview with Dan Hill. He is a singer and an author from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And we'll be with him in a moment. Hello. Hello, is this Patty? Yes, it is. Who's this? Hi, this is Dan Hill. Hello, Dan Hill. How are you, doll? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you phoned. Well, I'm happy to talk to you. Ah, I'm glad uh, it's good to talk, hear your voice. It's been a long time since I've been in Canada listening to your songs and all, going to see you. Oh, my goodness. We've been in here. Yeah, but. Yeah? But must bring back some memories for you. Oh, I, yeah, you do, kiddo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've been here in the United States for 23 years. Wow. Long time. Wow. Yeah, it's a really long time. Yeah. Um, so I have uh, questions for you, my friend. Okay. Okay. Uh, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. Same here. Can you hear me? Yeah. I was born in Toronto as well. Oh, great. And your parents, were they musically inclined as well? Yes, they were. So that's how you got your, uh, your uh, enthusiasm for music and for singing, right? Yeah, that's very true. So uh, what kind of music were they into? Frank Sinatra, yeah. Uh, who influenced you the most as you were growing up? I think as a little boy, it was Frank Sinatra. I love the sadness in his song. Mm. And anyone else, or just Frankie? Uh, I would say probably Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan. Sarah Vaughan, yeah. Wow. Uh, there, my favorite. My favorite was Ella Fitzgerald. She's a beautiful. Yeah, she was. She was, she was amazing. And so was Lena Horne. Yes, she was. So, when did you become interested in music when you were a kid? Uh, by the time I could talk, by the time I was two or three, I was singing all the time. Wow. So, uh, are you what? Uh, are you a tenor or a bass? Yes, I'm a tenor. Oh, yeah. And the music that you're writing over the years, did you... Uh, write or compose your own songs? Yes, I did. And you sang them or did other people sing them with you? Well, at the beginning I sang them and as my career went on, other people started singing them as well. Like who? Who do we know? Uh, Rod Stewart. Yeah? Beyond. Uh, the Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears. Wow. Uh, Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. Reba McIntyre. Mm -hmm. Reba McIntyre? Yes. Wow. I like her. Her. She's just one special lady, I'm telling you. Yes, she is. So your genre is basically jazz or blues or? I would say that my genre is more like pop. R and B. Yes. Yeah. And um, what year did you uh, release your first record album? 
1975. That's a long time ago, my friend. You must be. It was. <laughs> you must be in, in your twenties when you did that, eh? Yeah, I was 21. 21? You mean I'm older than you? <laughs> hmm. huh. I'm 66. I just turned 66, May 6th. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a great birthday present. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> what was the title of your uh, first album? It was called Man Hill. Oh, that's original. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many songs were on it then? Was it EP? Eleven. Eleven? Yes. And who, who was your title? I mean, your label? Are you still with them, or? Uh, no, I'm not. And um, your lyrics and compositions, other people were interested in them, or did they use them, or? Yes, they did. So, uh, what's this about uh, Cleo Lane? Well, she recorded uh, Sometimes When We Touch. Oh. I love that one. That's my favorite. Thank you. Why did you write that? Well, uh, I wrote it about a woman I had a real crush on. Ah. How old were you? In your 20s still? When you wrote well, that? Well, I originally wrote it at 19. Then I rewrote it with Barry Mann. Oh. I was 22. Wow. You mean I'm older than you, dear? Oh. Just barely. <laughs> You ask me if I love you And I choke on my reply I'd rather hurt you honestly Than mislead you with a lie And who am I to judge you On what you say or do I'm only just beginning To see the real Sometimes when we touch The honesty is too much And I have to close my eyes And hide I want to hold you till I die Till we both break down and cry I want to hold you Till the fear in me subsides Romance and all its strategy Leaves me battling with my pride But through the insecurity Some tenderness survives I'm just another writer Still trapped within my truth A hesitant prize fighter Still trapped within my youth And sometimes when we touch The honesty's too much And I have to close my eyes And hide I want to hold you till I die Till we both break down and cry I want to hold you till the fear in me subsides At times I'd like to break you and drive you to your knees At times I'd like to break through and hold you in And I know how hard you try I've watched while love commands you And I've watched love pass you by 
At times I think we're drifters Still searching for a friend A brother or a sister But then the passion flares again And sometimes when we touch The honesty's too much And I have to close my eyes and hide I want to hold you till I die Till we both break down and cry I want to hold you till the fear in me subsides. Have you, who have you collaborated with over the years? Like, uh, like you said, Rod Stewart and Celine Dion. Well, uh, great writers like Michael Master. Mm-hmm. Scary Man. Scary Man, yeah. David Foster. David Foster? Yes. He's a toughie to get a hold of. Yeah, he is. I bet he's really well, big. Uh, Bill, Bill Conti, he was a big film composer. Yeah, yeah. So, you, um, do you, how many have, uh, how many albums have you released since your first year? Uh, uh, 13. 13. Oh, that's a lucky number. And do they have themes going through each album? Like uh, you have one idea and then you put it into several different songs? Well, usually they have a really strong story, the theme yeah. is story. That's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. I write poetry, so I start off, it's like a book, really. That's great. So, and I write lyrics, too. I have other people sing. I have Pat Patricia Conroy sing one of my songs. Wonderful. Yeah, she's okay. I like her. Have you been singing that song uh, sometimes when we touch yourself a lot, or? Yes, I usually sing it at my concerts. How many concerts have you gone so far? Like, like is it three quarters of a year you go out and do your thing, or? Yeah, I'd say about half a year. Yeah. Do you have kids? I have one son. Ah, grandkids? I have one grandson. Oh, one each. Yeah. Well, oh, they must be getting up in years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're lucky that you are blessed to have kids. Yes. Yes, I am. And was sometimes when we touch, was that your greatest hit or did you have another one come out? Yeah. And uh, I do cherish you with a big hit for 98 degrees. Thank you. Blows. Wow. You have been around, haven't you, kid? Yeah. And um, Harry Belafonte, how much was he in your life influencing you? Oh, well, I, I really loved him as a child. Uh -huh. I loved his music and I went to see his concerts. And when I was uh, 19, I went to New York to meet him because he was interested in recording my songs. And did he? No, because he wanted to be the first one to record them, and I wanted to record them too. Well, they are your babies, so... Yeah. Did he, did he, uh, did he, like, mentor you, uh, uh, in, you know, Encouraged you and everything like that? Sure. He encouraged me an awful lot and inspired me. He's not around anymore, is he? Is he? Yes, he is. How old is yep. he? Uh, probably in his 80s. Wow. And uh, the song, You Made Me Want to Be, your father? When did you write that? 1973. Oh, they're all in the 1970s. Yeah. Any, any time later? Did you write later in the years, over the 80s and 90s? And Yes, I did. 
Are you still Tory? Yes, I am. That's good. So, where do you normally go? The United States, Canada, Europe? Uh, I, I, I go to the Philippines. Oh. To the United States and Canada. I've never been to the Philippines. I've been to the United States all over the place there, in Canada. Okay. And right. So, when did your songs reach the United States? Become popular. 1975. 1976, maybe. Oh. And what was the greatest hit that they liked here? Uh, I, I guess it would be sometimes when we touch. That is a very beautiful song. Thank you. And I, uh, every time I hear that, I always point to my husband, that's for you. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> We've been married 27 years now. So, uh, <clears throat> when did you become internationally known? Like, were you are you known in Europe? Uh, in 1977, I became internationally known. And you've done 13 albums, right? Yes. Over the years. Yes. And uh, you have authored a book. What's it about? And that, that's a good, that was a good uh, growing up, you had a good life? Yeah. Um, do you also write articles? Yes, I do. Like what? Well, I, I write about certain current issues, I write about pop music, I write about boxing. Boxing? Oh. Are you into sports? I'm into running. Do you volunteer anywhere in you know, causes or events? I do. You do at times? That's good. So, um, what, can we ask what you, who you helped and how we can also help as well these people? A lot of homeless up in Toronto. I've got concerts for them. Great place for them. I am with Track Three Rivers Art Center for Kids. That is as what we we are people of the arts who bring awareness of child abuse here in Fort Wayne area, and we put on events every year to bring the community together. That's wonderful. Do you do it, stuff like that too as well? Yeah. I'm glad. So, um, what are your current uh, musical projects? I've learned some songs about my mother and my family. What would you like to share with my audience to encourage them about? Remember to be true to yourself and always be creative. Always be creative? Yes. Be true to yourself? Oh, that's great. I tried to do that too. Uh, when did you, how old were you when you first started to write and compose? Okay. Wow. That's young. I started in my 30s. A little late. Okay. A little late, you know. <laughs> Do you, would you ever like, would you ever like to come down here to Fort Wayne area? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, it'd be great to see you if you do come down. You're more than welcome. So, I'll let you know. Okay, though. Thank you so much for phoning in. It's going on towards the end of the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dad.
Very kind. I know. We love you, man. My pleasure. Love you. Bye. Bye. I Am My Father's Son is a, comes from a song I wrote. It's the last song I played my father about my, my father and me and our relationship before he fell into his final coma. The strongest man I ever knew I never was a match for you Always wanted your attention Never knew just how to get it So I rebelled Tried to be your opposite I did it well Strange but true How our lives are like a circle now I'm very much like you You were my unsolved mystery Always barely out of reach At baseball games when parents came You were always missing That's okay Had your meetings and promotions Anyway Somehow The more I tried to be so different, the more I was like you. Memories die hard. Love dies harder still. I forgive you. I have no choice when all is said and done. I am my father's son The first time that I saw you cry Was the morning that your daddy died I stood there in amazement As you packed up your suitcase I heard you say Son, I need you here to get me through the day And through your tears Saw the boy inside the man And it was suddenly so clear Memories die hard Love dies harder still I forgive you I have no choice Cause when all is said and done I am my father's son What is love without forgiveness When all is said and done You did the best you could I let go of the anger When I finally understood